Good afternoon, We Daily Vlog. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> if you like it, you should come back tomorrow because we'll what do this I again. What did you just now on the intro? <laughs> I don't know. Here's a jar of sport peppers. You should chug it. We're having a chili and hot dog night. Because? I didn't realize, is this a theme? For Halloween? Yeah, because we're yeah. going to decorate for Halloween tonight after a trip to Disney I Springs. I didn't. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you. We'll yeah, show yeah, 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 yeah. Who knew that our plates and bowls were the perfect hidden Mickey proportion? So cute. Who knew sometimes you just gotta pet your doggy so good? You were exposing how messy of an eater you are. Over there. Ah. So this isn't the traditional chili that I make. I actually got, I really didn't follow the recipe, but I'll put the link up below. It's buffalo, so there's a lot of buffalo sauce in it. I added potato and more beans than the recipe called for. Um, super yummy. Excuse me, I'm trying to film here. But it was a nice little guide, I'll, I'll link it below. Doesn't it look like it's raining out right now? Where is the cloud even? This is literally Florida for you. I don't, where, where is the cloud? Maybe that one? Ugh, maybe that one? We have two like medically updates. Peter's sleep study was canceled. Well, it wasn't really canceled. A silly thing like in the US, the health insurance wouldn't cover it, but instead they suggested just like I just, what I kind of expected at first. Yeah, I just don't want to do because everything's bureaucratic in the healthcare system. Like, and then now, now this is uh, my actual sleep study is going to happen two months after my initial call. Right. And I don't want them for me to do the at home, which is like a sensor on my finger, and them go, okay, yeah, you do have some kind of sleep apnea. Now we need to get you in for an actual sleep study. And it's like another month. Goes give me by. the finger exam, then give me my CPAP machine if I, if I need that. Right. So that's the update on that. That was supposed to be next week, but um, we heard that while we were in Chicago. And then me, I um, I lost my last contact, <laughs> so I have to wear glasses until I go and get another eye exam. But they did say they would send me like six months worth of contacts soon um, because they're, they don't have open availability until November. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna have a fresh baby, so I'm not gonna go and get my eye exam until December. So if you're wondering why I'm gonna be wearing glasses until um, for the next couple of days, or hopefully it's just days and not over a week, um, I'm waiting on fresh, fresh contacts. We have never seen the orange garage this empty. I know. <laughs> And the other entrance, the one right off I-4 is open again. I don't know when it opened. I mean, it is super duper hot. And it's the first week back to school for most of right. Central Florida. But, wow. Thank you. It feels so good to be back. We have not. In the boo of the sugar. Because it closes so early and we've been getting here late, but we're here on time. And there's a book called... A book, a little book of living small. We should get that. Ooh. And I should get one of these pads to write my new daily goals, which we didn't talk about yesterday in the vlog. Thanks for this piece of love, Sugar Boo. Look at that. They have changed their hours. Now they're up until 7.30 during the week and 9 p.m. on the weekends. More Sugar Boo. They extended it. Right. Alright, I don't even know if we've been in this store since, this store, since you've been pregnant. And there's some... There's a section upstairs that I'm gonna have to be careful on not to grab a few things in, but if we were, we, we missed going downtown in downtown Chicago because of the travel restrictions, and this store always gives us Chicago vibes. Yes, and apologies. Thank you for visiting us. It's nice and folly in here. Yeah, we didn't get any candles. I know we're gonna have like other scents, but we need some candles. I thought we got candles. Oh. Well, maybe they have candles here. They've severely cut down their baby stuff, but this is too good. The baby. Okay, so something awesome just happened. We went into Savannah Bee Company, and they're finally restocked with Bee Bat. They're so good. Remember when we got a 24 count case? 
That was awesome. Did They're we super ever, good. Like, talk about that on the vlog? No, because it was just like placement. Yeah, Be Bad sent us a case before, but they didn't want us to like tell the vlog that they sent us a case. They were just supposed to be like product placement essentially. But anyways, I mean, it is an energy drink, so I'm going to take a swig. But um, yeah, still a good day. We got three of them. Energy drink. <laughs> right, because of honey. Alright, it may be hot in Florida, but it's still gorgeous. Look at this. We pretty much have this whole area to ourselves. Just relaxing in these chairs, enjoying the view, enjoying the view. Pretty much so, just yeah. a great day. I think I need to put my hair up. Am I glistening? A little bit. Um, well, that is stinking cute. I love these like vintagey looking pumpkins. Trick or treat, give me dough. Cute. It's like they're like off colors. Like they're not really pastel y, but they're just not bright. Like the saturation was turned down. So I wanted to test something out because before we left, I put on one of the move one of the baby cameras monitors. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I figured Eve would be with inside of it, and she's literally just sleeping, staring towards the door right now. <laughs> Sad, but also like we'll be alerted if there's movement. No, I turned that off. Oh, you did? I want to say hi to her because we can talk to her, but I don't want her. I think that'll make her more sad. Yeah. But I was like, hey, Evers. But. So funny. I like I like being able to see. Oh my goodness. We didn't see this at Epcot. Okay, I love this shirt and I love this hat. Okay, now that I see this like out in the wild, I think we should get it. I think that'd be really cute to have. There is a piece of me that's like, oh, all is right in the world now that Disney's got some seasonal stuff. Okay, we're leaving all the Disney. And I spotted this right before we went in. Deer Deli looks like it's open. I highly doubt they're giving away samples, but I think I we need like to go samples in. Are like a thing of a different generation? I feel like they'll come back. Like they probably went away in 1918, but they've since come back, obviously. No such luck with the samples. Yeah, I feel they like the said guy. They don't know if they'll come back. But I tried making small talk. And I was like, when did you guys even open? Because I thought that's been closed for a long time. And the guy's like, over a month ago. I'm sorry. We've been gone though. Right. We haven't been here in at least what three and a half weeks. So I guess yeah. that makes sense. Okay, what should we do next? I think we do a quick thing of co-op and then we leave. And go okay. Oh, we might have to buy this. Look at it, it's in the mirror, it's them as little girls. And in the front, it's them. And there's a storybook there. So Sarah's been spitballing the idea, and I think she said it the other day in a vlog about cooking, shopping, and eating at home, vegan. But when we're out and about, to eat, like if you eat at a restaurant, like eat vegan, unless we really want something. It's not. I think if that happens, one of the first places that we're gonna go to Marie and Enzo's, which we've never been to, or more importantly, Pizza Ponte, because I am staring at it right now, and I love that pizza. I miss the days of my friend, Katie Vining, working there. Amy! Amy! Hi, baby, hi! Hi! Get him! Get him! <laughs> We were spying on you in our baby cam. All right, mission tonight besides decorating, I'm gonna get the bin out for Sarah to get the decorations. Oh, I thought you were talking to me and I was like, I'm Sarah. <laughs> but I'm either gonna bring this table to the dumpster or I might try to dangerously store it in a closet after taking it apart. Sarah! I'm nervous. Why? Because ready to decorate? Ready, and Santa. get this organized. Because if I get rid of the table, we can get this out of here. We can put that away. And it can be more organized and like a I functioning know, and room. I can stop having to squeeze in here every time. You and me both. Nosferatu! Performing surgery. We decided we're keeping the table. <laughs> But in doing so, 
I've disconnected the supports for the leaves. Oh gosh. And I think if I, I can flip this on its head and put it on top of this in the closet, we just probably won't have a closet anymore. Eve hates it. Got some skeleton burning wax and nightmare before Christmas. If you promise to behave, gone again. Oh dear. What's going on with that? You gotta move it. You guys are about to see the best Tetris moves, I hope, <laughs> ever. All right, after some Tetrising and weird bodily movements, getting stuck a few times, hurting things a few times, pulling a couple things in my back, maybe a couple of times, we have a solution, not my favorite solution, but a solution when it comes to keeping the table and still utilizing this closet that has now become a straight up storage unit. Hey you, do we get to keep the, the table? Yes. What was the only sacrifice we made? Two chairs. Yeah, we decided that two of the chairs would get rid of that. And the table is going to need to be refinished regardless. Yeah, and so we decided like we'll get new chairs in the future that that'll match like, the refinishing. Right. Um, and then we're keeping one of the chairs because one of them is my desk chair. The other chair we put in our room for potential late night hangout sessions with James. Yes. So with that, look at this insane closet. Oh my. So the door literally just opens enough. Christmas stuff, more storage stuff. Don't, I have to put that away, don't mind that. That's our everyday mat. There's the table. It's in two pieces. There's one half. There's the other half. I have it rigged up with one of my stretching bands. Christmas tree stand. Luggage. Yoga mat. Some goods. Some more goods. Some goods. Other luggage. Behind the door is this little shelf unit that currently I think only I can access. I don't know if Sarah can with her stomach. So we just had our snake and old lace on for a little bit. I think we're gonna do more of a show and tell of the decorations tomorrow. So come back for that video. But we both fell asleep on the couch. We switched, switched roles. I'm gonna go do the message and then we'll go to bed. August 26th, interrupt anxiety with gratitude, anonymous. All right, you want an eventful night. We got so much done. We have a park pass for tomorrow, right? Yeah. Take a guess where we're going. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.